Okay, so come on to do a little bit of a sort of crafty haul video. Um, like <laughs> so this is one of the things, one of the last things that I bought. Um, I did say I wasn't going to buy any more craft stuff and then Tim Holtz released some new archival ink so I have bought those as well. But these were the last things I ordered before I said I wasn't going to buy any more. <laughs> So I thought I'd show them to you. Uh, so these are all from Craft Box. These ones are called Itsy Bitsy. Uh, let's see if I can read this nowadays. The newspaper possesses considerable value. Everybody should read it. It supplies us with a variety of news every day. It tells us the political situation of the world. If we from the habit of reading the newspaper, we shall something get enough knowledge to cope with our circumstances. Hmm. Interesting. <laughs> Grimm's fairy tales. Oh, these are like the old. I want to make a Christmas book. They look like uh, from here. They look like um, old library cards. Hmm. Uh, yeah, so these are the itsy bitsy. What else have we got? Something about a car blue denim manufacturer. That's really. Yeah, if you want to read that, that's a bit. I don't really get that. Uh, also, we got ride rule. Oh, this is a similar thing. This is about riding the bus. So maybe that's what that is. The rules of riding the bus and which seats to sit in. All nice purple ones. I think that one's similar, but it's San Francisco, so it's uh, the tram. It doesn't say tram on it, but it talks about car rather than riding the bus. Um, free token. Take the train ship in the waiting room, do not shout. When you get on the bus and board the ship, you should wait in line. In terms, is that the huddle and collide with each other? Free token. While you ride, so shop by bus between two and three. <laughs> These are all like old bus tickets and type things, it seems. Obviously, reproductions. Again, ride rule. I do. Okay, what else have we got? I've got more of these little purple library card things. Um, more of these. So they're nice, just for little cluster pieces. And a bit of colour on your page, and they are slightly vintagey. Okay. This one is called. It's just a journaling set. I've not looked at these, so let's open it up. So let's make this too loud, but I mean, some people like those kind of noises, don't they? <laughs> so these are those sorts of stickers, they're sort of like washy. They've got a slight background to them, but then you can write on them. They've kind of got a rough surface so you can write on them nicely. So we've got lots of frame type things. Very nice. And I'll show you in a moment why I ordered this kind of these kind of sets. It doesn't feel uh, but oh, the wind is terrible. We are expecting storms in the UK. 
one after the other I do believe I think they're going to mostly hit the north so uh, good luck Mike Deacon <laughs> you live up there and um, I'm a bit more sort of Midlands well we're part of the Midlands we're sort of North Midlands so shouldn't be too bad but it is pretty horrendous raining and windy look at these they're really nice so again these are written on a grocery bag while cleaning up the backyard enjoying the last bits of summer <laughs> that's cool um what was I saying clustery pieces uh, that looks like the top of a clipboard. Wax seals, and they actually cut sort of around there. That's cool. I need to use my wax sealing kit more. There's a lady there. I don't know if you see her. These are really cute, actually. Um, the church. Very nice. These are going to be perfect. Oh, Van Gogh. A lovely old Van Gogh, and that's an ugly one of his, I think. Possibly not, you can correct me if I'm wrong. Postage stamp, more circles, um, triangular postage stamps. I can't remember which. Uh, oh, check. Czechoslovakia. It says. Uh, I'm not sure where that one's from, but it's kind of on the slant. Oh, very nice. These are lovely. Polish pesos, Paraguay, yeah. Polish. Lovely. These are really nice. I'm going to enjoy using these stamps. These ones are, yeah, they're just together so you can use that as one. Oh, how nice is that? Oh, I know. It's really Van Gogh, uh, oh, I'm not sure who that is, and then you've got to uh, Edvard Munch, Munch, Munch. I don't know how to say his name. The Scream. There, obviously, you Van Gogh sunflowers, beautiful. Van Gogh. Paper, but it's quite uh, thin, so nice for collage. Months of the ship, it's like a book cover. And then you've got these. That could be a Van Gogh, you know. It's very expressionist. Well, this is cool. The wind. Who has seen the wind? Neither I nor you. But when. The leaves hang trembling, the wind is passing through. Who has seen the wind? Neither you nor I. But when the trees bow down their heads, the wind is passing by. You may have to use that one today. <laughs> oh, look at that. That's gorgeous. And still life. Days off by Henry Van Dyke. 20,000 links in the seas. Michelangelo, cold mountain. We shall always save a plan for ourselves, only for ourselves, and then begin to love. Have no idea of what it is, who he is, how to love, or how long it will be, but just wait for one love. Maybe no one will come. Lovely, lovely. I'm loving these. Lip Van Winkle the Le and The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. Ballad of Bow Bru Brocade and Other Items by Austin Dobson with 50 illustrations by Hugh Thompson. <laughs> oh, look at these. Oh, aren't these gorgeous? Oh, yes. Beautiful. 
me and you, you I need to sit back a little bit because I keep putting the things under there. Oh, I'm loving these. I'm so happy I bought this set. And there's quite a bit in it, actually. Really, isn't there? The blue window. Henry Matisse. The Shank Redemption. Hope is a good thing. Maybe the best of things and no good thing ever dies. That's the beauty of music. They... I don't know, it's obscure, but yeah. <laughs> I think it says they can't take that away from you. See, seascapes. <laughs> I do love Van Gogh, he's one of my favourites. I love this, so I may have to keep this somewhere. Put it somewhere. <clears throat> the sunflowers are nice. But I just love that movement in the sky. The furthest distance in the world is not being apart while being in love, but when family. No, but when. Painly cannot re resist it yearning. Yet pretending you have been. You have never been in my heart. I can't really read that. That's difficult. And then we've got some um, like accounting documents. So handwritten letters. Obviously, the collection. Keeps going. Um, chocolate tartlets and Christmas cake. Ooh. Wow. Make some chocolate tarts, that's the recipe then. <laughs> a letter. Asking for some publications to be sent. Um, something from a book. That looks like a French dictionary. Not like a French to English, but an actual French dictionary. Um, oh, nice, postcard. Very nice. Some music paper. This is going to be gorgeous for what I'm going to use it for. Um, oh, and these. Oh, what language is that? Is that French? No. E O D M. I think that's Spanish or something like that. If you know, let me know. Um, yeah, old books, these beautiful. See, people used to put time and effort into making old books, didn't they? Beautiful. There's more and more every time I lift something up, there's more stuff. These are really nice and thin, perfect for putting in my journal. I'm not going to make it too thick, which is exactly what I want. Um, that's, um, it is Monet. Beautiful. So yeah, very arty farty. <laughs> so I shouldn't say that, should I? Very artistic this one. Um yeah. So I'm gonna leave a link down below for the craft box website. They do do some really nice stuff. They I did buy their um, Alice in Wonderland sets and I'm loving it. Got more I go self portrait. I have they put Henry and Matisse, two girls in a yellow and red interior. Interesting. <laughs> Four with a purple robe and an enemies. Anemones. I don't know. Henry Matisse still life with cat. That's yeah. I'm not sure what's going on there. So oh, got some telegrams. Awesome. The Norfolk and Western Railway. Correspondences. 
more music paper. So we've got plenty of music paper, some postcards. We've got different colour tones to the paper as well. We've got some sort of reddy orangey colours and then some greys. Communities. That's like a ready made cluster right there. You stick that on your page. Handmade letters. Bit of extra, I don't think that was supposed to be in there. <laughs> That looks like um, quite a religious imagery. Very nice. So amazing. Um, excuse me, sorry, sniffing. I've got a bit of a cold. It's definitely just a cold. I've been testing and everything. It's not particularly nice. So that is. A massive kit. <laughs> I don't. I wouldn't have paid a lot for it. Massive. Okay, so that's that one. And then the other one I got was the nature journaling set. So. <laughs> Go through this one. So we've got butterflies and flowers. Oh, mushrooms, look at these. Oh, look at those, how cute. Ferns, single roses, we've got little plaques. I'm not very good at flowers, so this is the flowers. <laughs> Butterflies, look at this. Map details like it's been cut out of a map, an old map. Some more roses, different kinds, some more butterflies. Oh, look at this! You can write a little message on there, a little reminder, maybe, or a date. Butterflies. Oh, it's amazing. Love, love, love butterflies. Mushrooms. So cute. Cute, cute mushrooms. Butterflies. More ferns. Mushrooms. Different kinds of mushrooms. It's nice. With one of those butterflies, mushrooms, more ferns, it's beautiful for sort of sticking out the behind your little clusters to add a bit of greenery. These are like berries. Uh, rose hips. Yeah, lavender or something like that, sunflowers, a little tiny mini cluster, and then we've got more of these paper ephemera. How beautiful is that? And we've got a mushroom one, little bits of ephemera, you can write on these, or just tuck them behind your images, some little tag shapes, labels, they look pre-aged, they're amazing. Oh, I like this, this is nice. I would probably put a sticker on there or some sort of image. 
Remember our page. <coughs> Label, I mean. Labels. That's an unusually shaped piece of ephemera. With the tags. It's got like a little cluster on it. That's quite nice. It's like a Very nice, I don't know how to describe it, it's very nice. Butterfly text. And then these stamp things again. But these are, these are the ones with stickers. These aren't. So they've got mushroom ones. Greenery. They look like, um, I forgot what you call them. Evergreens, pines, that kind of thing. Flowers and berries. Um, pretty, pretty little kind of backgroundy pieces. Oh, look at these. Look at these. Are they not just? I mean, <laughs> oh, I mean, that looks like it's come out of you know, one of those diaries in a Woody and Lady kind of illustration, kind of pretty, pretty. Oh, I'm so glad I bought these. <laughs> these will keep me going for a while. Seize today, don't believe tomorrow. It's just things. That's like a, a stamp that's got no image in the middle. Nice tag. Um, labels. Another. These kind of images, let's have a look at the other one, see how, yeah, so this is more of a purpley page and that one's more of your pinks. You've got your pre-made clusters again. Oh, it's like a page that's been printed on. Pride of the Kitchen Soap. <laughs> that's again another clustery type page, that's really cool. It's like a collage. That looks like German text. Beautiful. Uh, more clusters. I like these pre-made clusters. Not sure entirely how I'm going to use it, but I'm sure I'll find something. Again, that looks like a sort of diary of an old lady kind of book on flowers. Got the butterfly specimen type things. These do look like they've come out of old books, some of these. They're beautiful. Mushroomy things on a receipt. <laughs> Why not? And then you've got these. I like these. Sort of oddly shaped bits of very interesting. Lots and lots of butterflies and mushrooms. That's nice. That's a really cute little note cardy type thing. Let's try and get that so it's not bleached out by the light. Hang on. Mm. Butterflies. Oh, look at this. Interesting. Good butterflies, and you've got your labels to match, although the numbers aren't. But so that's number one. Or Genero Morpho. Yeah, so they're going to be like Latin names, I think. More clusters. 
Crystals. Custom. Custom pieces. Okay. So. I love that. I think, actually, my favourite one was the first one. The genuine set. I think that's gorgeous. But these, this one has some really nice pieces in it too. So yeah, I'm really happy I bought those. And I'm going to have hours of fun with those. Um, don't know if they have any of the um, tickets that's left. They were reduced. It's like one pound something. So, But yeah. You just get so much for your money there, I think. I was saying I'm going to be crafting away for ages with those. I think I'm going to send some to my friend, Pam. Um, now, so where did I put my little book? Did I even pack it? No. So I'm doing this sort of little book. I just do this it's kind of on my own, in my own time sort of thing. And I add to pages, go back and add things, that's my dad's wedding, um, yeah, I just do little bits and pieces, it's quite, I do journal sometimes, sometimes I don't, sometimes I do to-do lists, it's basically just a whatever I feel like doing that day, kind of journal, um, I did a Halloween page and I just keep throwing things on when I get more Halloween stuff, and that was a day when we went to the kitty cafe, so it's got a lot of cats on it. It's like a vintage page, vintage inspired, getting towards Christmas. That was just a, I wanted to draw a face page, so I did, and then I went mad with stickers. That one, I was relaxing, and I really liked these stickers, so I put those down and built a page around those. And I did two pages the other day using some stickers. Um, some sticker books from the range. These really cool books. I've had these for a while. Uh, that one's from the old sets, and then I think they've brought out some. These are the newer sets. But these are really good for all sorts of junk journaling, bullet journaling, planning, things like that. There's all sorts in these books. So yeah, those from the range. And these from craft box. So yeah. Um I say I think I'm gonna use this one for a page today to represent the wind and the weather and yeah, and I'm gonna build a little page there. <laughs> so I'm gonna stop rambling now. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. Um as I say I'll leave a link for craft box down below so you can have a look at what sort of things they've got if you're into bullet journaling, talk journaling, these will be perfect. So <sighs> I'll see you again soon. Bye guys. So I just wanted to note back on quickly and just mention that I'm a bit daft and um, I was reading the backs of these and if you actually turn them over <laughs> you've got your actual tickets. So yeah I did wonder why I was so underwhelmed with them. I thought, oh, they're not really very interesting tickets. They, they are, but you just got to turn them over. So, sorry about that. They're great. And, um, uh,